If you're looking to buy cheap, fast, and safe Madden 22 coins or NBA 2K22 MT, make sure you head over to MMOEXP.com. Use code THRONE for 5% off. It's linked in the description. All right, guys. So today we have gameplay with the 99 overall golden ticket, Jeremy Chin. Guys, he's going to be... Yes, it's, he's out of position right now. So it shows he's a little lower overall. But he's 99 rated like across the board aside from... I guess he's 97 acceleration. I know some people care about agility and COD. He's 92 agility, 93 COD. He has 82 catching, and then the creator decided to upgrade the spec catch, so he's 99 spec. And he is six foot three, by the way, so very good height. We're talking about a tall DB that's 99 speed, 99 all coverage attributes on a non-theme team. This is a pretty sick card. Now, the creator chose to upgrade spec catch, I'm gonna assume because I've heard a lot of people say that high spec catch players don't drop as many picks. There may be some validity to that, I'm not sure. But um, I understand the thinking in upgrading the spec catch. My biggest gripe with the card, and probably a lot of the golden tickets, because it seems like a lot of people are kind of uh, not upgrading this rating. Uh, he has 77 press. And I don't want to go on the longest tangent ever, because I just recorded an intro that was four minutes long talking about this. Basically, press is really important. It's not important if you play up top, okay? doesn't matter if you play up top or are being usered. But at outside corner particularly, and then at slot corner and outside linebacker, Press is relatively important, especially outside corner. And him not having high press means he can't play any of those spots. He basically has to play up top or user. And if he had press, I could play him outside corner. He'd be perfectly fine. You can play players out of position. As long as they have the attributes to play, they can play. Okay. So um, he would have been a great outside corner, like an awesome outside corner if he had press, but he doesn't. Uh, and that's regardless of whether you're running man or zone at outside corner. Um, there are certain things you can do to get really good press animations in deep blues or in outside thirds that it's really important to not get cooked over top to have high press uh guys just go test like some guys with like 80 some press and run a game like running cover zero and then in 99 speed regardless of the man coverage rating and then go do it with like a guys that are like high press high man high zone, uh high speed guys and you'll see a pretty big difference press is really important okay hopefully i got through that quickly is what it is jeremy chin just gonna have to beat out a lot of players up top and at user that are really good, whether it be, and, and can't play corner, Sean T. Mike Evans, maybe could play corner. Jimmy Graham, maybe you can play corner. New Ted Hendricks, uh, Julio Jones, J. Ron Curse. Like, there are a lot of those guys that can't necessarily press that he's going to have to beat out. And at six foot three, he's kind of, and no discounted abilities, it's going to be a hard, a hard fight for him. Now, I will be using him today. Acrobat, deep out zone KO, total of four AP. I have it activated. Uh, this card is is fully ready to go i just activated it a bit ago um yeah I, i'm not trying to complain about this card too much it is a really good card i guess i'm just saying not very versatile you can just kind of do a couple things on your field and that's okay because he is really good at the things he does we'll see if he's on the team moving forward um again i'm not trying to act like press is the most important rating it's it's not it just means he can't really play where too tall or westry or cordero are and granted those three are corners but i've played players i've played isaiah simmons is really good at outside corner Jimmy Graham was actually pretty good at outside corner for me. He had some press. Mike Evans is okay, has some press. Um, those guys like 90 plus press can play outside corner and Jimmy, Jeremy Chin's not even close. But as you notice, I have a Falcons uh, Cowboys theme team, 25-25. It's just kind of what I've been rocking. Falcons for Billy Johnson and Julio Jones. Then hopefully whenever I can afford and buy a Patrick Kearney because he's a unicorn on the auction house, he'll be uh, one of my outside line or uh, like edge rushers. But for now, it's Lawrence Taylor and Marcus Davenport because I'm a poverty mutt YouTuber. I have no coins on my new account. I have to use Marcus Davenport for free, but he's still a good card. Regardless, hopefully I didn't talk to you too much. Yeah, it was still a long intro, whatever. We're still going to get into it. Hopping into a gameplay. Jeremy Chen. Let's do it. Teflon Don, I've played this gamer tag before. I don't remember when, but I played him. I think multiple times. Gonna get after it with Jeremy Chin, maybe lurk him, maybe have the deep out zone KO, knock some shit out. You guys know I love deep out zone KO on Julio Jones, so figured it was worth trying out on on uh, Jeremy Chin today. But let's do it. Let's get after it, man. Starting off on O. Should have put Jeremy Chin back to kick return. House one one time. I'm bringing this shit out. You know me. You know me. I'm gone. I'm gone. See ya. Bye. Or the 17. Same thing. Pretty close. All right, let's do it. 3-3-5 three, three, wide. I don't know if I've played against this defense yet this year. We'll see if I can figure out how I want to attack it. I like the man coverage, to be honest. So he has Isaiah Simmons at linebacker there, kind of as I was talking about. Player that can 
press to outside linebacker can be nice when you're running me in coverage. Now, he didn't get a press animation. I just had a flat, but... Oh, that's really good defense. Can I get a route bounce, please? Throw this away. Um, so he's inside quartering his safety uh, above B, above my B receiver there. Actually, is it my X receiver on? Yeah, it's my X receiver on that play. But if I do something... Oh, he just screwed up his defense, I think. Thought that's tall Jones. Smoke him. I don't have slot apprentice. Or uh, I don't have route tech. I have slot matic Sorry. Can't speak. I had a rough intro. Now I'm having a rough game. I'm throwing this. F that. That's Ed tall Jones. Rack that shit. Touchdown. 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 Come on. No, really good defense, though. When he ran man with an inside quarter above the B, rece B receiver, um, that inside quarter does a really good job of bagging crossers. And uh, No, I want to I run a different play here. Hold on. Yeah, something like this. The ghost route. Crossers and corner routes. So, yeah, perfect. Much better than doing a wheel route there. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. I've been so all over the place during this gameplay. My bad, guys. That one's on me. Now the inside quarter against like trips formations uh, above that B or X receiver, whatever the innermost receiver does a really good job of bagging like crossers and corner routes. It basically runs the route for them. You guys have seen me do that before. That's not man to man. It's actually being matched. Um, so yeah. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. God, ramble for four minutes about Jeremy Chin not having any press. Now that it's been a rough start. Oh, sorry. I want. No, I want Chin at linebacker in this formation, but he's going to be in trips too. So you're going to see me do a very similar thing. Now we'll see if he runs the ball to start the game. But like putting Chin in an out inside quarter like that does very well at defending that Devonte Adams spot. Like watch, he's going to run the crosser for him. See that? And he threw it at him. Jeremy Chin, give me that shit, Jeremy Chin, give me that shit. Let's go. Come on, on the chin gameplay. And, and we were just talking about that. You do that adjustment, Teflon Don. Don't be an idiot. You do the same adjustment against me. Why are you being an idiot? And watch this, the adjustment to the adjustment right here. He's gonna do the, no, why is he going to this? I don't understand. I'm so confused, whatever. Sure, he wants a, yeah, let's do something like this. Yes, yes. Kinda wish I had a slot on X instead, whatever. Well, Check down. Bad spin. That's fine. It's ingrained in my brain to spin. I must spin. Jeremy Chin gameplay. He gets a pick. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Touchdown. Touchdown. This dude's getting flooded on YouTube. Oh, he's getting flooded. Bad start for Teflon, Don. I will see you later, Teflon. Bye-bye. GG's, brother. GG's. All right, man, let's do it. <sighs> Game two. I actually played um, I actually played Teflon Don again, but he got out of there real quick. I think he got out on a... Yeah, no, 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 no. He got bagged like three plays in a row. Anyway, here we go. Oh, he's running nickel normal. I haven't played against nickel normal in ages. Let's see if he plays some D. One spin here, Colin. Let's go, Colin. I'm glad Jeremy Chin got the pick, though. It's so hard to get a, a player to make a play in a in a gameplay, like if they're on defense, and, and he did it, which is sick. I need to call this play more. I like this play a lot. Check down. One truck. Good job, Reggie. Just fight, bro. And he had deep out zone KO, and I, I don't know if it lit up or not. Because he was in match, but it seemed like it lit up. I'm not sure. I'm gonna flip this one time. I'm gonna do the the deep crosser. I'm not gonna smart route it though. We'll see. This is literally taking a shot at a TD here. Don't really like the block of the halfback, but it's fine. Dot. Oh, just roast the man. Come here. Come here. Come here. God, I love Ed. I love Ed Too Tall Jones. That dude is my favorite. Oh, it was match. Okay, I got you. That makes a lot of sense actually. Dot. Who are you guys' favorite players in Mutt head-to-head? -head? Or in uh, in Mutt right now? To use in head-to-head. -head. I love Too Tall on both sides of the ball. He's a dog. I love... That's about it, actually. That, that's, 
that's the extent of it. No, I love my two wide receivers. I love, I've heard Colin sucks at getting speed inbounds, but I haven't had that issue. I love Colin and too tall. Um, and then on defense, I love my one AP acros. I love them. I used to love Jimmy. I love Julio. He's probably my favorite defensive player. Love Julio, especially now that I have him at 99 speed. Can I not set an audible? How long have I been playing that? Not really, actually, because it was read option. I definitely couldn't shoot that, but we got a decent push. I'll take it. Possible wheel route on 34. There is one. Yeah. Okay. No. Bad defense. I have a hard flat on the right. Wow. Um. Okay. Well, let's try to shoot this round then. RPO. Good effort, Tutel. This is going to be annoying to get a stop. I think I will. Oh, shoot. I have my Tampa 2 and Cover 3 mixed up. Okay, that should be better. Okay, okay, okay. So I was supposed to be in Cover 3 right there. Hard flats. It probably wouldn't have mattered at all. Give up seven on that. He's already taken the first quarter. He hasn't even gotten past midfield. He's already taken the first quarter. Corner out. Please get to this. Thank you. Goodness gracious. I just I, I saw that play from so far away. Saw it was these spot so quickly. Get out, Sean T. Just make a make a damn play. Wish it could be Jeremy Chin, but it's all good. I'm gonna call Spread Y flex this drive. Let's do it. I feel like calling something different. I don't really know what I want to call out of it, but we're going to try. Kind of like the seam streak gig. I feel like I should use a regular seam streak, though. Not like one of the inward ones. Like one that's like faster, like that. Boom. 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 You telling me this is a stoppable route combination? Dot. How would you ever stop that? Literally unstoppable. Oh, I already have a touchdown. Forgot about that. I'm just snapping this then. A little Texas route. Beautiful. This is the play. This is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> kind of like this play. I feel like it should do the same thing with the corner out on the left. Now it matched. Oh, open. Kind of. Ish. Maybe should have lowballed it. Maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes low balling doesn't help you. Sometimes low balling allows the defender to acrobat play it a little bit better. So sometimes you shouldn't low ball. Just depends. Like the four verticals tight end wheel route, you don't low ball often. Um, like against cover three, don't low ball it. The deep thirds will play it. If you do. But if you don't, they won't play it. They'll be open every time. All right, man. Let's do it. One more stop against this bubblegum offense. Honestly, he's the best runner of all time. He should probably just run the ball continually. Yes, I like that. I like the thinking. Don't audible formations. You were doing so well. Oh, shoot. This is terrible for me. Whatever. <laughs> C spot again. Good effort, Chin. You're good, man. I shouldn't have clicked on. I touched my slot corner, so the slot corner is on the wrong side. So it's like, well, I guess I can really only uncover two here. Good dot. It's like... Three plays. It's read option, RPO bubble, regular inside zone, four plays. And then four verticals with a wheel and two in routes. Whatever the hell that's going to do. Give me the freaking rock. Rip it from Sean. Come on. Tackles here. He got the first, didn't he? Mass. Tackles. No! It's fine. Oh, I shot that. I'm stupid. I thought the running back was on the other side. So I was trying to shoot it from right to left, but I'm an idiot. I just accidentally shot that. I didn't think I would. I was too busy moving people off.
Oh, give me the rock. Probably deserved. I hooked Sean T to try to play that because I knew there'd be yeah, a bunch of shiz over the middle of the field. But okay, I'm I'm manning up RB because I think it's gonna be. Nah, I gotta vert hook these guys. I think it's gonna be red zone scissors. Oh, just wasn't. This dude is just an offensive mastermind. I'm genuinely playing against John Madden himself. This guy, he can draw up a play. I'll tell you, this scheme is tough. I'm gonna run a nice little scheme out of I form wing. Watch this shit. I've been messing with this. Um, this corner out out of strong boot is tough. A little smart route with a A on a streak, and then you keep the play action. Watch this fly. Watch this. Boom, boom. Shouldn't have shouldn't have lobbed it. Thought it would give me more yards downfield, but <laughs> but I've got bazooka. Yeah, she did like a post this time. Oh, you tell me how you'd stop this play. Unstoppable. You would never stop it. That's the answer. Dude just glitched out my entire offensive line. What the hell, bro? If he sends pressure again, I'm screwed. That was tight. Can't lie, man. That was tight. Little power out of Marshawn Lynch. Get in the damn end zone. Beast mode. That's beast mode. That's beast mode. Give me seven. Actually, give me eight. I want eight. Touchdown, by the way. Touchdown. Oh, I like this play. Flip. Boom. I can keep the post now because it's not flipped. Beautiful. Yes. Did I get caged or did I have my wheel route? I was too busy staring at the hitch, seeing the whole time if it would get open, and it never got open. That was on me, man. That's my bad. Back in Madden 17, I ran it all the time. All right, that's a half of football, baby. It's a good half of football. His ball, one stop. Man up. Cam on Kyle Pitts. Perfect defense. Yes, he didn't throw it. He doesn't know you can throw it. Hits here. I'm ass. It's not. Dang it. He's got a touchdown. Knock it out, Julio. I have deep out zone KO. It didn't even light up. Was that because it's like technically mid zone? Because it wasn't deep enough? Honestly, I'm just so glad I got that stop earlier because this is not fun to play against. I'm keeping this. I'm not flipping back with him. It was dig return. Okay, we caged it. Thank you. Well, at least keep it. Uh, Let's let it fly with Cam here. Just really just let this thing rip. I got screamed at. Okay. You're telling me you can stop this play right here. I don't think you can. It's picked. That it was so damn close to being picked. I had a bad pass late on that. I'm an idiot. God, I'm trying to throw the game away. Am I eight for nine? Yes. Have I thrown a couple tight balls this game? Definitely. Keep this flat. It should be wide open. It's not really. Throw it now. On the run inaccurate. Okay, well, I'm doing everything to try to throw the game away. It's kind of fun, actually. Kind of like it. He's just blitzing me every single play. No flat there. Boom. Brandon Marshall. No. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Marshall should be open up this game. He's not. Question? Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Good drive. Give me one more stop. End the game, dude. That beat the match? That got matched. That got matched by the outside corner and he just let him run right by his face. And the crazy thing is, this is the most defensive game. This is damn near the most defensive the game has been all year. It's probably pretty close. Now that Escape Artist isn't being used again and we have so much AP on defense. And the players are really tall and fast with high zone. I don't recommend this, guys. Running the ball and just letting the clock roll when you're in a... What did he go to last time? He ran like an RPO is what it was. 
I know that there's a deep skinny post right here. I mean, there's a cover three bomb. Big screen wheel. Thank you. That's Julio Jones. Man, my favorite player on defense. That's my dude. One AP deep out zone KO. Go crazy. Didn't matter. He had a bad swerve. I mean, it wasn't like the most open ball. So he had to. Something like this. Why is wide open? I just missed him. Waiting for it to route bounce. Route bounce. Now route bounce when I click it. That was bad, though. That was really bad. I was too busy staring at my deep crosser. Like an idiot. Dot. Make up for it a little bit. And that's GG's. 93% with Cam. Dude, I've been throwing the ball around the yard like a madman. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Jimmy Chen, definitely an excellent card. I just don't know where he's going to end up fitting into the team. He's really good. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and getting to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.